Well, greetings, everyone. This is actually going to be a take two. Um, embarrassingly, as I was doing this, I got to a spot where I realized I wanted to try to use tails. And um, it didn't work because I had to set up the... So I'm starting here. I had to set up the second controller buttons, and when I exited full screen mode, it stopped the video capture, and I didn't realize that. And so I had gone on like a whole other 15 minutes before I realized um, that I was only recording audio but no video. And so I realized that I couldn't use any of that, and I kind of felt stupid. So maybe I can try to remember what I talked about. Um, last night on take one, but here we go. <clears throat> Alright. So that means I actually got a little bit of practice last night. I got a, re a rehearsal, a run-through, so hopefully I'll be able to get through these pretty well. And not be clumsing around so much. One thing, oh yeah, and that was another thing I decided, is I'm not going to worry about perfects anymore. I've got plenty of continues, I've got plenty of one-ups, I don't need that many. And just to help save time, I'm going to skip the bonus stages. And um, I'm going to skip... Oh, hang on, no, i got to find my way around. So I'm going to skip bonus stages, and I'm going to skip perfects, because I don't need them. Oh, hang on, I saw something over here. So I'm just going to save time and just not worry about those. So with these special stages, a couple mechanic I may have said this before in part one, I don't remember. But one thing that's interesting is that in these... Okay, I've got a set of four somewhere and a set of... Okay, here we go. You gotta be really careful with your button timing on that. And now it's just the Lost looking for a set of four somewhere. First one down. Here we go. <clears throat> so, I was saying a new mechanic that's different in these special stages is that in the Sonic 3 by itself, if you hit a bumper, you go straight forward. Which means you, I think you could just keep aiming at a bumper and you'll just keep going boing, 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 just straight back into it. But in this one, uh, from Sonic and Knuckles onward, uh, the hitting backward will, um, you'll just keep going backward, and you actually have to push forward in order to go forward. Mm. Part of that is because of the mechanics of some of the stages. There's a little bit of backward action that might actually happen on some of them. One thing that I noticed here in Mushroom Hill is how there's a few callbacks to the uh, to Green Hill Zone. Actually, just look at the background. Oh, hang on. Just look at the back, or not the background, but the um, the walls. You can see that. Uh, oh, hello. You can see how it dips in and bumps out. It has that geometric shape going about it. Uh, let's try this one. I don't remember which color this is. <clears throat> yeah. Another thing I notice about these special stages is how streamlined they are. And a lot of the old ones... See, that's where I decided that I wasn't going to... I hope I didn't miss something back there. Uh, it was when I missed that one, that jump. I was like, I'm not going back to get... I'm not going to fail it on purpose just so that I can get it. Get the perfect, because again, it's just points. So, but yeah, these second round of special stages are very um, streamlined. <clears throat> this will also save me a lot of time in the tally 
screen so that way I'm not sitting there waiting for 10 seconds for a one up and a continue. But look at the background, how it has the, the, it cuts in and it bumps out. And, um, yeah, I think that's really neat. Is there anything up here? You know, you get to the point where it's kind of like you have to check every single wall. See if it does something. Oh, I feel like I should go up there. Um, so yeah, that's just a neat little callback. And also you can see the checking, the checkering effect. Um, is there something down there? Yeah, it's okay. Here we go. Yeah, you can see the checkering effect on the moss. That also references the checkering effect of the, um, in Green Hill Zone. So grateful for the fire shield it makes things so easy. Because otherwise you'd have to wait. Oh, the tail's effect. You gotta watch out for that. He gets the extra hits you weren't expecting. And as I was going through last time, I was just noticing all these. I mean, I already kind of knew about them, but just all these callbacks to earlier Sonic games, old mechanics of things. Of just different, uh, like the bonus stages, for instance. The slot machine bonus stage is, uh, of course, reminiscent of the Sonic 1 special stages, of which one of my most popular videos of all time is uh, my Sonic 1 soothing piano music, Sonic 1 special stage. Uh, it's current, I, I don't know how many thousands of likes there are, but it's very popular, so I would suggest that you go and watch it. If you like uh, that sort of piano music. If you like Sonic Remix music, then you'll enjoy it. It's just a real gentle, soothing thing. You know, shameless plug. Okay, here we go. I think that's just rings back there, so I'm gonna skip those. It's really so freeing, actually, when you, um, when you aren't worrying about getting everything perfect. You just want to get it done. See, like on that, you, you have to push forward when you hit a bumper. Oh, right. <laughs> I have to train myself not to do it. See, the completionist in me says, no, I want to, you know, give it a good experience. Let him see getting the perfect, but... I don't know. I'm just not feeling it this time around. Especially since, you know, it already takes so long just to get through the whole thing. And it takes more time to get the perfects, and you get sped up all the time getting the perfects, and it's just... It's a lot easier to mess up. And I would rather get hypersonic than get a lot of... Uh, continues and one-ups that I'm not going to need. But I'm already feeling, yeah, this is... Oh, okay. Let's see what's up there. Oh, fine. Be that way. Oh, yeah. Hang on there. Oh! oh okay, I do kind of remember that a little. It's just been a while. Hello! Well, I'm having more success in this level already. As far as uh, reaching special stages. This is an example of one where it's all just kind of laid out in front of you. All you can do is, I mean, not go forward, but all you can do is just follow the path that they take for you. 
and just hope that you don't crash. It's like the Death Star trench run. You acquire to maneuver straight down this trench and skim the surface to this point. And just all you gotta do is just keep going. Oh no! I missed one and there's no way I can go back and get it. I missed one and there was no way I could go back and get it. And I had to kill it. Well, that was weird. At least I know there's one more. Whoa! I forgot about this. Wow, okay, there's a lot of things that I've forgotten about in this game. Oh, let's see, which one do I want? I think I want to have lightning. Oh. One thing you can do with those rooster guys, let's try this again, <clears throat> is if they're just above you and there's a little step below, you can, um, you can just bend down at the little step below the, the rooster there, the rooster badnik, and it won't blow you away. If you're down, then the ground will cover you. I think that's what I did was I jumped too soon. Yeah, if you were to take the time to try to get all of them, all of the rings in here, you'd be going so fast. Oh boy. I almost did it again. And that's the example why they have to have the backward bump in there. But boy, I was actually getting a little tense on that one because it's like my eyes felt like they were glazing over. There's just so many. <clears throat> Has anybody ever listened to um, OC Remix? I don't know what that means, but OC Remix did a remix album called Project Chaos. It's a Sonic and Knuckles remix album. And... Um, I think they did a really good job with, with that. It's a really neat album to listen to. Um, they do all the levels, of course. And for the most part, a lot of them are pretty faithful adaptations. But there's some styling with it. Some of them are... Well, okay, let me say it again. There are some of them that are more stylized, but some of them are more faithful. I think that's the only way that Knuckles can get through, and then he can pass through there. Same thing happened again. Tails. Casualty. Of course, then Tails comes to your help. I was saying something, wasn't I? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, Overclocked Remix album. It's really neat. Um,. They're very creative with it. There's definitely the flavor of all of them. You don't, there, there's only maybe one of them that feels like it's not quite out of character. Uh, but it goes all the way through Sonic 3 to, um, from Sonic 3 to Sonic and Knuckles all the way to Doomsday and then the original Sonic 3 credits. Um, probably the only ones that just feel maybe a little out of character are the Ice Cap and the, um, Ice cap in the lava reef zone. Um, because they're done, I assume, but it's like a collaboration album, so there's a few artists that do it, and I guess one album does does it with like just gentle piano. And I mean, it's interesting, um, you know, as gentle piano goes, but um, I don't know. Given 
given the choice, I might have tried arranging it a little bit differently. But it's nice to have some quieter music in the mix, too. So, well, I'll just leave it as it is. I'll leave it as that. Um, <clears throat> so, like I was saying last time, you know, and I'm kind of stumbling through this, but I'm actually feeling pretty good about how it's going now, this time. Before I was worrying, oh man, where am I going to get enough... Uh, special stages to get hypersonic. I can't find any. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot better about this run through here. So it's nice. I actually got a little bit of a rehearsal last night. Oh, well, okay. I'll take that. Yeah, and then there's those guys. It's interesting how many of those there are in there, especially in the background and like I think the second act, where you just see so many of the. Uh, see so many of those egg cells, the egg prisons. It kind of helps you get a little bit of sense. Now, these things, these rocket seats are a callback to um, Wing Fortress Zone. But you get a sense of just how massive... Ooh, okay. Now this is... Okay, let's see if I can do this. Tails, you get over here, and I have him linked to other keys. Um... If I can... Yay, I did it! Now we'll see what happens here. Now this is gonna be a little new. I didn't get here last night, because obviously I couldn't do that last night. Because I hadn't mapped my keys. And so, um... Oh, it's kind of like a little, um, sh shortcut, I guess. Okay. Shortcut's fine. I like how Tails gives his little yawn. It's funny. Now, those little things, that's callback to Spring Yard Zone, Sonic 1. Lots of Sonic 1 callbacks. Isn't there a... Isn't there one around here? Ah, yes there is. There's only two special stages that I know about in Flying Battery. It's that one and another one in the second act. Okay. Another one where you just sort of follow along. Ooh. Yeah, that's one where you get a little crazy. So again, um, no, I already did that. All right, let's go. No, don't do that. Just carry on to the other side. Here we go. just another of those special stages where you just sort of follow the flow of it. You just take a path and let it go. We're almost done with it. Look at that. In my last run through, I wasn't, I barely got hypersonic by the end of um, Lava Reef Act 2. And you know, and then I accidentally realized, but I had just gotten into Hidden Palace Zone and I realized it wasn't recording anymore. I mean, I still had my voice, so you could kind of hear things, the game sounds, but I had lost my video by accident. <clears throat> and it's still going. It's still going. If some weird accident happens like that again, then maybe I'll just try a save state and get it going and try to... It'll just maybe be a blank spot for a few seconds until I can get it reestablished. I don't think any of you will mind. Another observation I made about this game is how the bosses are different. In this game, particularly, you have a few bosses where you have to kind of let things happen on their own. I mean, you coax it along a little bit, but basically, you um, just kind of let him kill himself. 
like that one. You can't actually directly attack it. You can't directly attack that boss. You have to let him kill himself. The other ones like that are in Sandopolis, that golem, that stone golem that guards the temple, the underground temple. You can't directly attack I mean, you can kind of attack him, but it doesn't actually hurt him. You know, because he's stone. Well, I don't think it's just because he's stone, but according to the game... Whoa! That's weird. But according to the game, you can't actually attack him. And you have to let him fall into the sand. You have to draw him to the sand where he can fall in and somehow die that way. Now last time... which way I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go this way this time. I had my first death coming out here. Well, no, it wasn't my first death, but I did die out here, coming in this direction. And so I decided to go back the other way. I forget why I died. Or where I died. I don't know if it was getting crushed or what. Oh, it was right there. This is where I died. Ooh, that is so close. So this part here is new for me. Well, not new. I mean, of course, I've done it before, but... Yeah, and I, I went up here. Let's go back up here again. Feels like going up higher is the... <laughs> taking the highway. Oh, come on. Oh, in this way. That's right. I didn't get to finish this one. Just that sheer momentum. It's amazing. Oh, the background in here makes me think of Sonic Advance 1. That was one thing I talked about. You guys ever play the Sonic... Or not Advance 1, more like Advance 2. Do you guys ever play the Sonic Advance series? It's a really well, well done, I think. Um, maybe I can get a Game Boy advanced emulator and try playing those for you guys if that sounds interesting to you. But, um, I don't know if I can do it 100% though. Sonic 1 or 2, or Advanced 1 or 2, maybe we can. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know about 3. Because, uh, getting the, all the, you have to find like all 10 Chow in order to, oh, no. Oh. You have to, um, really? All the way back here. <sighs> well, here we go. I guess now I'll go the other way. Give you something else to look at so you're not looking at all the exact same things over and over. Okay, well... I was saying something, and then I forgot what I was saying. Oh, right. So... Yeah, let's go this way instead. <clears throat> so Sonic Advance 3, look at all those egg robos. Or not egg robos, but those egg prisons. It just gives you the sense of how much he was going to do. So, yeah, Sonic Advance 3 has... The, you have to find, like, all ten chows, or five chows, or something like that, in order to... I don't know, unlock the key to the special stages, so that would take a lot of time, and I'm not really interested in doing that. Um, but yeah, this background, just look at this background, how it scrolls. I just love the background layer scrolling. Yeah, I already did that way, let's go this way now. But yeah, in Sonic Advance 2, the Egg Utopia, I think it's the Egg Utopia, is, it just reminds me of this level, with the, how the backgrounds work like that. Just this sort of indoor space area. Okay. I 
was going to say something else. What is it? I don't know what else I was going to say. It'll come back to me. I hope. You know, when I first saw that guy, I was like, I don't know what to do with them because Sonic uh, 2 in Chemical Plant Zone, um, that guy, he grabs you and then kind of goes kamikaze and explodes. Unless Tails can bail you out. Oh. Alright, now seeing that tripping sprite uh, where he's like losing his balance. Not that one, but the other one where he's... Yeah, I need to find another ledge where I'm not gonna get killed. Um, I think I like, overall in sprite design, I like Sonic 2's sprites, I think, the best. He looks a little leaner and meaner than... Oh, uh, where am I going? I think I kind of want to... Oh, that's right. Just follow... Just follow those and find an opening. That's how you do this one. Just find the openings. Go from one to the next. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, yeah, okay. I think I like Sonic 2's sprite design the best. I mean, Sonic Mania is interesting. Oh, almost got careless for a second. Like I said, your vision kind of starts to glaze over a little bit in these special stages. All right, now we're just hunting. Hello, I found you. I've never played Sonic Mania, though. But look at the frame rate on that. The frame rate on that is really nice. Um, I mean, just the frame rate on Sonic's back, Sonic and Tails, reverse sprites. Man, I might actually have Supersonic or Hypersonic by. And it's weird how that always turns like black. It's like blackish purple, like really deep blackish violet. Okay, now here it is. This one right here. I don't know, just something about it looks weird. It looks a little bit... Mm, mm. I just like the the look of him in Sonic 2 on that one. It just feels like it has better character. The other one just feels more comic -y. Now this one, even if you are hyper, you can't kill this guy. Oh! Okay. You can't, uh... <coughs> oh, that's interesting. Wait, did you see that? <clears throat> Look at that at the edge. The clouds. The sprites for the clouds are... Uh, are being... Ma mi mi bleh, matched with the... Uh, But then you get out of it, and now it's clouds. Huh. The sprites, they were uh, being shared or palette swapped or something like that. Oh. And I only know about palette swapping because I watched the 8-bit guy. He's a fun channel. You guys should go watch him. Coding Secrets is another really fun uh, channel. He talks about Sonic stuff. He worked on uh, Sonic 3D Blast. He's Traveler ta Traveler's Tales. So he did Sonic for you blast. Um, and he also did um Oh goodness, what else? He talks about Sonic oh, Sonic um Sonic R. That's what it was. Games that were made with Traveler's Tales. Oh Oh, right. Oh, thank you, Tails, for grabbing that. So he's got some really interesting tidbits about how he made the different games. And speaking of games, uh, Saturn ones, what uh, what's your guys' favorite? Um, 
I don't remember if I asked this in the last one. Sorry. This is kind of the... The result of losing your... Oh, okay. I gotta talk about that. That door that I just knocked down was supposed to be in the original version of Sonic 3. Before they had, had split it up. It was supposed to be the, um... Ouch! Well, don't do that, buddy. It's supposed to be the, um... The skateboard. That Sonic... Or, no, yeah, sk a snowboard. That Sonic uses in, uh... Oh, I got it! Oh, okay, now I gotta wait for Tails to get back. There's so many places I kind of want to explore. And since I'm doing really good time-wise, I think I will. Oh! Okay, damn, now I gotta control this. So, who knows, I might get myself into a fix where it's like, No, you can't cross here, only Tails is supposed to be here. Oh, that's a Knuckles area. Hey, come on. Oh, okay, well, now I kind of have to bring him over here. Come on. Probably not a good idea, actually. Because then I'm not actually going to be able to get around. No. I want to go back the other way where I was. Yeah, if you look in the sound test, which, um, for Sonic 3, oh, for Sonic 3, the, the getting, reaching the sound text is a ridiculously horrible chore. It's awful. Uh, it's a lot easier in Sonic and Knuckles. Or Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I mean. So much easier. Um... In Sonic 3 and Knuckles, all you have to do is, in Angel Island, you grab the third swing, and you have to push some combination of up, down, and left. I don't remember what it is. You have to push it, like, three one way, three another way, three some other way, and just keep mashing the buttons in different directions, and eventually you'll stumble upon it. But, um, anyway... Yeah, if you go to the level select menu, you will find that hidden battery is placed um, after um, Carnival Night Zone. So I guess that cannon in Carnival Night Zone was uh, supposed to shoot you up to the flying battery or something? I don't... I'm curious as to how that was supposed to go. Do a little more exploring here. Oh, missed. Hang on. Okay. Did you guys know... Oh, wait, no, let me finish the other thought. So, yeah. Um, yeah, then I get... Yeah, the cannon was supposed to shoot you to um, the flying battery or something. I don't know. I know I can go down there, but I went down there last time, so I'm going to go up this way this time. Because I know there's... I know there's a um, hyper ring somewhere. Let's try up there. It's a good thing only one button jumps. You only need to use one button over and over again. Oh, come on. Oh! Ooh, that was cool. 
Ooh, that's grizzly. Never mind that. I'm just gonna skip that. I only need one more special stage. I know there's several in... Ooh! I know there's several in, um... Lava Reef that I can get to. So I'm not gonna panic about that at this time. Because already we're getting past the five minute mark with this one. All the exploring. Ouch. That wasn't very nice. Okay, well, this is getting towards the end anyway, so. waiting bosses. I find that it's easier just to go ahead and bash them in the head. <laughs> Poison them. Drown them. Bash them on the head. I don't care how you kill it. It happened again. Tails has... Do you see him? He's gone to the background layer. Okay, did it again. You don't know what I mean. Last time, Tails somehow... His sprite somehow glitched where he kind of became invisible, or part of a different layer. I don't know how that happens. I've never seen that before, except when I was playing this here for you guys. Oh! Tails! You stole my kill! Tails! Sheesh. Oh, there he is. So you can do this. But I find it's more satisfying to bash him. And I feel it's a little quicker, because then you don't have to wait for him to turn around. But there you go. Just another one of those bosses that you kind of have to... wait for to die. The other one's in Lava Reef Zone Act 2, where he's in his, um... Somehow he's in his lava-proof, probably titanium or something like that. His lava-proof... Egg Robo. And, um. I feel like up here is something that needs paid attention to. Oh, no! That would be a my. That would be a Knuckles area. So never mind. If you're playing a Sonic, you kind of need to accept your role as Sonic to a degree. Because <clears throat> otherwise you get yourself into places where you can't go. So Sonic, yeah, as far as it goes with being a different character, Sonic really does have the most limiting... There's the ghost that you can't avoid. Sonic really does have the most limiting amount of gameplay. I think if I do this, I can just kind of skip that route and go... Yeah, that's where I want to go. Is there anything in here? Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Sonic really does have the most limiting uh, level of gameplay as far as what he can do. Of course, Tails and Knuckles, they can... Oh, wait a second. Well, no, I think I have to... Oh, I don't remember if there's something I actually have to do or not. Well, here we go. I can probably just do it with my lightning shield. I don't need to do that whole thing, and then I'll have so much door left over. I can, yes. I guess there might not be anything there for me to get. Okay. Those ghosts do get kind of creepy. They get kind of a Batman weird thing going on about them. Probably ought to go back and try again. If 
I think I got myself killed there. I'm trying to spin dash under that door or under this pillar thing. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, see, they kind of go Batman, you know? It's like Batman with fangs. Like bat ghosts. It's interesting. I mean, you can. I mean, if they start attacking you, you just, you know, you jump or whatever and you gotta get around them. Like, there, they're gonna start actually attacking. Oh! Well, it's a little bit more troublesome than I remember. Hmm. <sighs> if you play as Knuckles, you can avoid this whole thing. I had a close call. Oh, geez, sorry. That's gonna mess my whole equalization there. <sighs> Oops. Well, I gotta spend all that time to equalize that big bump. So I was going to say, when I get back out, I want you to look at the background and I'm going to ask you something about what it looks like. The hieroglyphic background. Okay, so look at that background, guys. Look at that. Like the Egyptian, he's like holding out a plate to, and it looks like he's trotting out a, he's trotting out a, or holding a plate with a birth, a cart with birthday candles on it to a bird that's having a birthday? Isn't that like a birthday hat on his head? You tell me that's not what it looks like. Because seriously, it totally looks like it totally looks like an Egyptian is giving a birthday cake to a bird. That's what it registers to me. That double going around the going around the loop twice. That was new in this level, in this zone when they came up with that. Ha! Ah, I knew there was one up here. I remember that one. Okay. Let's see if I can get hyper for this last boss here. yellow spheres in uh, Sonic, or no, not Sonic, in Knuckles Chaotix 
They used the whole mechanic of spheres again. Oh! Jeez, I almost... missed that one. I almost jumped it too soon. And where do I go? Here we go. Here it is. <clears throat> and that's another spot where you need to do the backwards to jump over and grab those two last rings for the perfect. Alright, here we go. My score is significantly less than it was last time because of, you know, not having all of those perfects, but that's okay. Ting! I love the way that the, em the Master Emerald glimmers on this one. I love that. I think it looks way better than just the general glowing that it has when you see it later. But that might be because it's been removed from the, um... Oh, I'm one wing short! Well, okay, let me get a ring so I can actually go hyper. Let me get a few rings. I haven't had a bonus stage yet in this game playthrough. Alright, let me say something about how to do this. If you're never quite sure where to... Where is... Okay, I mean, yeah, I'm getting rings, but... To control your jumps, uh, like how far you go, you want to aim at certain points of... Oh, there we go. You want to aim for certain points to jump. We'll see this again later in Lava Reef Zone. And you want to... If you want to do a short jump, let go at the very top of the sphere. If you want to go really far, let go in towards the middle of the sphere on your way up. Now to really shoot you far. Because if you do it when you're like at the top of the sphere, it's kind of like you're already on your way back down. And so it won't throw you upwards. Now I know I have to... I'm just gonna... Just do it that way. <clears throat> Here's another thing that I'll say about this game compared to Sonic 1 and 2. I think that the difficulty for Sonic 2... Well, okay. Whoops. I'm not exactly sure why I did that. I think that the, the general difficulty level for Sonic 1 and 2 is harder than it is for Sonic 3. Sonic 1 especially. Because in Sonic 1... You don't have Spin Dash, and depending on which, it, like, original, and depending on which version you play, you may have that speed bug that kind of... Yeah, it's okay. I don't really need to go exploring so much now. I was, like, exploring like crazy, trying to find every nook and cranny. Which, I mean, I suppose I can still do to a degree. Just to find little things here and there. But yeah, I'm just gonna skip the skip those things. Oops. One of the benefits of having a keyboard. Oh, kind of. Oh, nuts. Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, and in Sonic One, you don't even get any super points. Super form to. Is it not here? Oh, I guess it's not that one. It's this one. Oh, hang on. What crazy. Here. So, yeah, you don't get a super form in Sonic 1, so that makes it a little trickier. 
also... Ooh. Oh yeah, that's right, because I was obsessing in this area because I could see the, uh... I could see the flashing, and I was like, where is it coming from? And I was looking down, and I was like, oh, there it is. Wait, come on, look down, see it. There it is. And so I was obsessing, how do I get that? Where is it? Where do I reach it? And this is where I got into trouble, right here at this section, because I, um... I, uh, try to... Oops. Okay, well. Hold on, I'm trying to use my second hand to do this. Oh, come on, you can do it, you can do it, get up there. Come on. There we go. I was punching the, my pause button by accident. <clears throat> so at that spot right there, I realized, wait, I need some tails to fly me up there so I can get that. And so I thought, but I don't have it mapped on my keyboard. Look how small the death egg looks there. I don't know if I was about to say Death Star. <laughs> just look how small it is right there. I mean, it's a neat detail, but it's just so small. Look at him, he's heading for that small one. I think I can get him before he gets there. He's almost in range. The other thing you gotta worry about doing this is don't get yourself in trouble going too fast. Very easy to do that. Um, Sonic 2 also was tricky. Not because you couldn't get super, it's actually very easy to get super. Um, you can do it in Emerald Hill. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, do that for you if you'd like. And do Sonic 2 next. Now with this boss, you can actually stand here and he won't kill you. I don't know if you can do that with Super Sonic or not. If you're Super Sonic, I don't know if that hurts you or kills you or not, but if you're Super Tails, it will still kill you. If you uh, go under his hand like that. If he squashes you, he will, it will still kill Super Tails, so watch out for that. Hyper Knuckles is also okay. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, with Sonic 2, you can get super pretty easily, uh, just in Emerald Hill where it's the easiest to do it. I'll go up here this time. But the trick is, in both Sonic 1... Oh, I better get the flame shield, I don't want that. The trick is, in Sonic 1 especially, you don't have as many shields to protect you from things, particularly fire, like in, um, in, uh, Scrap Brain Zone. You don't have a water shield to protect you and give you breath in Labyrinth Zone. It's so much harder. So much harder. Yeah, let's do a little exploring. Why not? We've been doing alright on time. Same idea for these. You want to jump when you're getting about halfway up. That's the trick. No, I thought I'd go the other way in this time. But uh, yeah, you don't have water. You don't have any elemental shield to help you in your environment. I do not want that. I do not need that. And in Sonic 2, you have to be careful to keep all your rings. You need all your rings for the... Oh, oh okay, here we go. <clears throat> One thing that I appreciate about Sonic hacks is that they've uh, made it possible to reverse your transformation so that way you can actually turn off being super if you want to. That's kind of a helpful thing. You can do that in Sonic Hacks. I don't know if you can actually do that in other Sonic media. The only way I could do it here is by deliberately waiting a while and letting the timer run out, but... And then standing by a ring and grabbing that while I have my shield, but... It's okay. Our ears will all bleed together. 
Sonic 1 Mega Mix, so you can actually, there's an, op an option to turn it off. Hey, is there anything down here? What's down here? I don't really know. Uh, well, you know, just a pit of death. <gasps> Ooh, and a secret I did not, oh, wait a second. That secret, that's a shortcut. I didn't realize that was a shortcut. I mean, I knew about that ring there with the switch, but I didn't realize you could actually get through that way. That's interesting. And my first death. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. I think I remember there was something down here. There is something down here. What is this? What is this? I do not know what this is. Whoa. I guess it's just a catch. That was completely new, ladies and gentlemen. Well, mostly gentlemen, I guess. <clears throat> that was completely new. I did not know about that. I made a discovery. So yeah, in Sonic 1 and 2, it's so ring-dependent. You have to have 50 rings by the end of the stage to find the warp ring. You need 50 rings to in Sonic 1. You need 50 rings in Sonic 2 to access the special stage through the um, through the star post. And then you have to get a new 50 rings um, after every special stage. So it left you a little bit vulnerable. Okay, I was jumping a little soon. I'm about to die. No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot cut that any closer no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Whew! That... <laughs> that was a rare moment right there. Okay, so here's, like I said, this is another boss where you just kind of got to let him go. So yeah, Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 are very ring dependent. And uh, if you don't do well, then you're not even going to reach the special stages. Sorry. But in this game, you just have to find them. You can reach them no matter how many rings you have. It, it just, the rings don't even matter, really. They just keep you alive. But you don't need it to access a special stage. You don't need them to get continues. I mean, you do that in the special stages, and if you're just trying to get a continue, then you'll just get that naturally. Um, it's very easy to rack up one-ups in this game. Partly because they're much longer and there's more rings, but... Also, through perfect bonuses, you get an automatic one-up that way. The 50,000 points you need. Poor Tails. It's a good thing he can't die. <clears throat> but this game is really... <clears throat> aside from being long... I mean, already we're nearing an hour at this one. And what's funny is that in my last one, I've been playing for more than an hour before I had lost it. I've been playing for probably, um, probably my save state was it probably, or my, where I had it was probably about an hour 15 because I kept, I was failing the special stages and retrying them. So I'm already farther than where I was in about 20 minutes less time because I've, I haven't failed the special stages as many times. And, um, and I haven't been worrying about the perfect bonuses. There it is. It's on its way up. Times of the essence. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess if I had done the thing, I could have gone super, but it's okay. That tapestry is really interesting. Although I'm kind of curious what the bottom arm is. I don't know what that is. I'll well, get him. I've always wondered what that bottom arm is. I really don't know. But just that tapestry is just so really neat. Just to kind of foretell what goes on. And again, Robotnik has unlimited hit points. You can't actually kill him. Or if it's not unlimited, 
if it's not unlimited, then it's just like so much that you can't actually do it. And I love it, just the timing here when you wait. It's kind of like, well, all right, then show off. But I love the timing here when he jumps up there. Tails just kind of looks at you as like, oh boy. <laughs> he just looks at you as like, oh, here we go. And Tails, his animation, his face reminds me of Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs. You guys ever read Calvin and Hobbs? I mean, I was a little kid. I just liked it because the comics looked funny. Like the practical comedy of it, you know, the big the big yells, the oversized words, all of that sort of stuff. I just thought that Tails looked a lot like Hobbs. <clears throat> so yeah, I actually don't know if there's any other special stages here. That last one that we found in the secret tunnel shortcut that I didn't realize was there might have been the last one. And what's funny is that in my failed uh, time last time, that was actually the one that got me supersonic. <laughs> was at that moment, that last one. At least I think it was. And so it was like, I could not tails. Oh, fine. Don't do it all over again. Oh, the tails hazard. So I could not have gotten it any closer. I've never played Sonic Generations. Well, no, that's not true. I played one level... Okay, now this course has all kinds of callbacks. You know, pulling out all the old tricks. Except by that point... Oh! <laughs> Of course, by that point, I didn't have superpowers, and I didn't have someone to help. This little gadget right there, the transporter, doesn't it remind you of the homes that the Jetsons live in? It's like that central pod with, um... Oh! Great. I hated that boss. Probably not going to have enough rings to make it uh, Mecha Sonic. Not really Metal Sonic. It's not actually Metal. Or, that's not what I mean. It isn't Metal Sonic, I don't think. I better just let it go out so that way I can just get some rings and have some. Get some actual rings. Some. Oh! Well, what do you know? I stop being super and I die. Or hyper. I stop being hyper and I die. Oh, wait. Okay, here we go. But, I, but yeah, I am doing a lot better than I was last time. You guys know about that. And of course, by Lava Reef, uh, zone, the game is considerably different from Knuckles' perspective. I mean, even in the different areas that Knuckles goes, and um, of course he doesn't even have to fight the boss. <coughs> Rising higher in the clouds, there. Yeah. He doesn't have to fight the boss, and he doesn't have to... Um, He doesn't have to do anything in the Hidden Palace Zone except get up to Sky Sanctuary where he fights this guy. 
and he gets the big arms version here. So, a definite improvement. Definite improvement over the Silver Sonic from Sonic 2. But then, of course, for Knuckles... Um, for Knuckles, he reactivates... Uh, goes to the Master Emerald that is somehow in the Sky Sanctuary at that point instead of being in the Hidden Palace. I'm actually not sure how that's supposed to be now that I think about it. I don't get it. Oh wait, that's another thing that's interesting is in the in the in Sonic or in the Knuckles gameplay you don't actually fight Robotnik you fight some sort of egg robo almost not like a hard-boiled heavy but I don't know something like that so you're not actually fighting Robotnik himself so I wonder if it's actually it takes place after like you play as Knuckles after um oh! Ooh, I can grab that. Well, I'll take it. That shield. Yeah, I wonder if it like takes place after. Oops. Oh, oh hello. This one's nicer. The fact that this background doesn't move is just it's almost a little disorienting when you first see it, but it really gets the gives you the impression that this place is so massive that you just cannot fathom how huge it is. And yet, in Lava Rio Zone, it looks so so small, like it, you pass by it so quick in certain areas where it's in that. But I mean, it's just there so you can see it, of course. Oh God! I'll try to do a little bit without. But yeah, you really just, you get a sense that this place is absolutely massive. I don't know, it's almost like a mixture between, you see the, the main reactor scene in Return of the Jedi, and copy that with high charity. Now, I'm going to go in here because I want to get a shield. I mean, yes, I've got, I've got silver, or I've got um, hypersonic, but I don't know. I think it might be fun to just... Um, go through it for a little bit without all the um, ear-splitting hyper music. Because <clears throat> then I get to do that. <clears throat> These things, just avoid them. Because most of the time... Oh, I'm towards the end of this already, I think. And doink. Doink. I still have like that whole big, looks like a vacuum chamber or something like that. I was saying something like that. Okay, here we go. I don't want to lose my rings. Now this one has a drop, so you gotta watch out for that. That's the death drop right there. Okay, here we go. So, you gotta get all these buttons here. Of course, I didn't know that when I was first in here a long time ago. It's kind of like, how do I get out? And I don't think I really even saw the colors of those. Whoa! That's never happened before. Where I bounce back. All kinds of new guys. Oh, right, these things. Now, this one is okay, because you need to get up. I don't know if I could double jump up there or not. But this one, skip that one. Because he's not taking you up, all he's doing is just looping you around and you lose like what? Oh, this is where I thought I was towards the end. 
you just lose so much time getting looped around in those things so you can learn which ones to avoid. Now this boss really seems like it would be really hard. It's like Metropolis. And then it's like two bosses in one. Seriously, how to beat that without superpowers is so hard. Tails is probably going to die as soon as the floor drops out from underneath you. Yeah, oh no, he made it. <clears throat> oh yeah, he still technically does die because he gets thrown off the screen. Now, this level introduced the concept of anti-gravity. Or reverse gravity, I mean. So that was new. I mean, at least your left and right is still okay, because if, if that was reversed, then that would be really hard to get around. Trying to be fancy. No. Um, okay, yeah, transporters like that, those they've been there in all the different versions. Scrap bait zone. Um Metropolis zone. Oh right. Hey. Hey, you're unbalancing it. Come on. Balance my way. Now, I saw one playthrough when we get towards the boss here. Um, and there was a trick there that I don't think he knew about, so I will tell you about it. Don't you see there's like two faces? I mean... Okay. Just... Let me pause it for a second. Okay, now just look there. It's just pause, don't worry. Um, doesn't that look like a face? Like there's the smile there, like right above the platform. And then that's like his nose that comes out, like an actual echidna or hedgehog's nose. And it is look like his mouth looks like a smile. And then there's an eye. And then there's his hair that's like back there. And it looks like the reverse of it on the other side. I mean, I, it is the reverse of it, just graphically. So it's like there's two faces there that you're looking at. Yeah, let's see if I can get a shield. I'll take it. Quick and simple. And there's Robotnik uh, things. Robotnik items. Which haven't shown up since... Oh no, they've been around, haven't they? Oh, come on, how do I get that? Am I going too fast with this? Okay, I was just going too fast. <clears throat> okay, fine. Oops, I think this is one of those. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you only lose like six rings. That's such a huge deal. At least that one wasn't. Some of those loops just really take forever. Oh. I really do wish that hypersonic could be made. Oh, I think here we're getting towards the end. Yeah, I really do wish that hypersonic would be uh, canon again. Oh, that's right. I knew that, that was there. And actually, that one was a useful one because it takes you up, but it's okay. You can get away without it. I mean, I understand why he's here. <coughs> hypersonic. <clears throat> because... You get the Chaos Emeralds all the way back in Sonic 3, and you've got superpowers. That means you've got... Uh, 
another time waster. Jeez. I mean, it looks neat at first, and it's like, whoa, what's going on? But then when you realize that there's actually floor that you could just go by without it. Oh, I'm losing rings. I need a uh, bonus stage to stop my transformation. I think this is like towards the end. This is towards the end. I'm almost there. Okay, here we go. Oh, not the place base. best place to get rings. It's a good place to lose rings, really. I'm not going to have enough. <clears throat> now I'm not going to have any. Well, now i got to stay here until I get... Oh, man. Now i got to stay until I get a jackpot and hope that I get... Come on! Now I gotta stay till I get a jackpot. And it's not giving it to me. Oh, no. Come on! Otherwise, I'm gonna have to really work for this one. Which I guess you don't mind. But I was gonna show you something with hypersonic in this. And why is it refusing to give it to me? Nice, but not what I need. <clears throat> That's like what I entered with. Okay, again, helpful, but not target. Again, nice. We're getting there, but how about that jackpot, huh? Come on, big money, big money! See now where gambling really takes hold. Maybe the Robotniks should be my hint. Alright, let's just grab a continue and get out of here. And that's the thing about here. If you get if you already have 50 rings or you reach 50 rings and touch one of those, you get an automatic continue. Okay. Well, I don't think I can do it as a regular. Now here's the thing, this is another one of those bosses that you can't beat. Oh no, I can do it from here, the trick. Check this out. You can do it, and it'll get it to him twice. So, sounds like it's farting. Well no, it's the mushroom bit. Oh. Here we go. I don't want to lose anything here. But yeah, you can shoot it up that way. It goes really quick. So you can kind of time it like that. So it is a real time killer. And with hypersonic... If you hit it while he's hypersonic, then he gets around really quick. <clears throat> and again, a case where Robotnik can run just as fast as Sonic. I guess Adrenaline will do that to you. Here's the big arms music. Get do a little bit of pinball. Oh! That was quicker than I thought it was. It's a little crazy. So I might want to. No, no, I'll try. Oh, boy. Okay. It's gonna be real tricky with it. Because it's one of those 
where you automatically become normal after it. Boy, tails. <clears throat> We're almost there, guys. Good thing that you can still run up those blocks. And you just gotta hope that, that last jump doesn't see you fall right there. Here we go, guys. Boy, when I saw this and I heard that music, I was like, oh, the pulse pounding. Remix has a pretty neat rendition of the big arms. And, um. Alright, and that's pretty much all the ones I'm gonna get. Something that you might not know is that if you push the jump button, you actually get a burst forward. Ooh, look at that. Neat little pathway, so you're not bouncing your head. Now, another one where you can't really hit them directly. There's so many of these bosses around. Uh, homing missiles, the pellets that can actually hit you. The sound of those warheads hitting is incredible. Now, you can use the jump buttons to propel yourself along, but the missiles will keep up with you, so you have to be real careful about that. Pulse pounding, nothing does. Almost got it. That's the only way to do this, though, is you gotta use the jump. Almost got it. Got it. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have accomplished it. <clears throat> now, if you're super, he kind of loses his super by this point, and he's falling Sonic, but he makes it if he's hyper all the way to the plane. Hmm. It's nice to get the cinematic the cinematic ending here. Good simple story. Now I'm not bashing against the different generations about their storytelling or characters or whatever, you know. I'm pretty really I'm pretty easy to please as far as entertainment goes. So let's see, you can see different places there. You can see Sandopolis. You can at least see a pyramid, or at least a golden temple. I always thought that was Sandopolis. That Angel Island is that little lagoon there that you can reach into, where the palm trees are. Yeah, and if you get all the Hyper Emeralds, then you get this little extra blip where Knuckles comes out to see you off. <clears throat> we go. I'll let this run out to the credits. So, what is you guys' favorite Sonic game? What, or what, uh, yeah, either favorite game or favorite, um, era. Because, you know, you got the Genesis era, which goes all the way up to, um, Sonic uh, 3D Blast, which also dovetails into the Saturn era, which includes, again, CD Blast or uh, Sonic R. I love Sonic R's music. I really do. 
that's one of the really defining things about Sonic games is the music. It's just, it's always so great. Well, almost always so great. Sometimes you've got some clunker music like um, <laughs> Sonic Championship or Sonic the Fighters has awful music. I hate it. There's only like one track that's actually worth anything, but otherwise it's horrible. Um, but uh, so you got Genesis era, the Saturn era, um, which has like Shuffle, Sonic Shuffle, which I heard isn't really that great of a game. I haven't played it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, CD, or er, oh yeah, Sonic CD, well that's in the Genesis era too. <clears throat> The Dreamcast era, um, which kind of goes all the way up to like, what, Sonic Heroes or so? Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, that era, 05, 06. And then you've got the uh, next gen, I suppose, or the modern Sonic. So, yeah, I guess let me know in the comments uh, down below what you think. Um... I wonder if that's actually Echo the Dolphin. That's not Echo the Dolphin, is it? His sprites? I just now wondered that, just now. I've never thought of that before. I've tried Echo the Dolphin. I really don't like that game. I don't get it. I never did very well at it. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like my run-throughs? Do um, you like my ramblings? I mean, I guess, you know, what else are we going to talk about? Or um, if you have ideas for Genesis games that you'd like me to play, I kind of have some that I'd like to share with you. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.